What's up, Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme Channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase how you can set up a Chromebook for cloud gaming. Now, something you guys might not realize is that Chromebooks actually make great devices for cloud gaming. Number one, it's affordable. Number two, you have different options. And number three, most students actually own this device because most schools give this out these days. And you guys might not even know that you can actually use this device that you got from your school for free to play AAA games. So let's showcase how you can get this done. All right, so to get started, the first cloud game platform I want to showcase is Google Stadia, and it's very simple to do. All you have to do is just open your Google Chrome browser and type in Stadia. So once you go to stadia.google.com, it brings you up to this page and it asks you to put your credentials in. And once you do so, you are good to go. You can just game. So I have a disclaimer. Something that you guys are going to see in this video is that when I'm actually showcasing some gameplay, it's not going to look like a 60 FPS because my recording software, for some reason, I'm having a hard time recording Chromebooks with OBS and my capture card. But just so you know, my screen, this actually looks really crisp and really clear and smooth. It's definitely hitting 60, but you guys might see it and think it's hitting 30. Just want to put that disclaimer out. So again, here we are Google Stadia, as you guys can see, this is Stadia. You have all your games that you purchase. You can have access to the Stadia store to purchase more games here if you want to. Again, you click see all and you have all of your game library that you purchase or claim as a pro member. Or if you have Ubisoft Plus, you can see those games on here as well. So again, this is a Chromebook and I'm using this device to cloud game so let's play a game like doom eternal showcase what this looks like running on google stadia all right so again with the disclaimer that i gave you guys earlier you guys are going to see this and it's not going to look like 60 fps and again that's my recording software it's not this it's actually running really smooth on here and just want to show you guys you can play doom eternal really well on a chromebook and it looks a lot better on my screen than what you guys are seeing right now. So again, just want to showcase this for you guys. All right, so that was a little bit of Google Stadia. Now the beautiful thing with Chromebook and cloud gaming is let me say you get bored of playing games from your Google Stadia library and you want to play something on GeForce Now, you can just put play geforcenow.com and this should take you GeForce Now. All you have to do is put your credentials and your scene right here on the Chromebook you can just play GeForce Now game instantly. So I'm going to pick a game like Kenna and you guys are going to see this perform and run on my Chromebook with ease. All right, so here we go with Kenna Bridge of Spirits on GeForce Now. We're just going to hit continue and get right into this. Again, disclaimer, it's not going to look smooth for you guys, but I'm getting a really good FPS here on my Chromebook. Some of you guys might be asking what Chromebook I'm using. I'm actually using the Google Pixel Book 4K. Again, it's a premium device, but this works just as well. I've done videos showcasing this on a $200 Chromebook and <laughs> worked really well. So again, this is Kana uh, Bridge of Spirits, and you guys are seeing this GeForce now on the Chromebook. And you guys, so it's pretty easy to set up as well. So again, this is GeForce now on the Chromebook running pretty well, pretty smooth. All right, so you guys might get bored of GeForce now and think, hey, I have a library of games on Amazon Luna that I want to test. Let's play some Luna on a Chromebook. And the beautiful thing is now Amazon Luna is supported on Chromebooks. So let's get right into that. All right, so here we are again, Amazon Luna. Push play Luna and we should be able to access all of our Luna library and play this straight from a Chromebook. Again, awesome stuff. But let's try a game like Team Sonic Racing. We'll come here, we'll push play, and we should be good to go. All right, so as you guys have seen here, this is Team Sonic Racing running on Amazon Luna on a Chromebook. I'm using mouse and keyboard. Don't have any controllers plugged in right now. So again, it's pretty neat, right? Because you don't have to carry your controller around. If you have a decent Chromebook that has a decent 
mouse and keyboard, you can actually game without having to carry an extra accessory like a controller around. All right, here we go. Again, this is Team Sonic Racing running on Amazon Luna. Again, it's going to be slow for you guys. Disclaimer, I keep saying that. But you guys have seen it run here and it's running smooth for me. Sorry, I don't play with mouse and keyboard, especially races. But again, just trying to showcase this off to you guys. And you guys have seen here, this is Amazon Luna running on a Google Chromebook. All right, so that's a little bit of Luna. And some of you guys might be like, man, that's still not enough. What else can I play in the Chromebook? And all you have to do is go to xbox.com, EN, US Play. Again, it's different for you guys if you guys don't live in the US, but if you do, you can just come here and you can have access to your Game Pass games that supports the cloud. So, so let's get right into that and showcase what this actually looks like. All right, so here we go. This, as you guys are seeing right here, is Xbox Cloud Gaming, and I have my Xbox controller connected via Bluetooth, and we should be able to game on here. So let's pick a game and showcase this off real quick. All right, so this is Gears 5. Something that I want to showcase is, again, this being a Chromebook, is actually touch controls. So here we are playing Gears 5 with touch controls on the Chromebook. Again, if you have your Xbox controller sync via Bluetooth, you can use that as well. But again, the beauty with Chromebook is that you can just use touch control. So we're going to showcase that off. All right, so here we go. Gears 5, fellas, running on the Chromebook with touch controls. So again, I'm using the Pixelbook Go, and this is, I would have to say, high quality, but imagine having a smaller tablet-like-ish Chromebook. You can use touch controls, and again, this would be a good way to game. Again, what you guys are seeing is not what I'm seeing. It looks way better for me and it's a lot more smooth. But again, just want to showcase touch controls. And this has a touch screen so you can utilize that. But yeah, this is Xbox Cloud Gaming on a Google Chromebook. All right, so that was Xbox Cloud Gaming. Last but not least, I want to showcase something to you guys. Yes, you can actually use Shadow PC. On the Chromebook, you guys might ask, how is that possible? Well, lately, Google has been allowing you to download Android apps onto your Chromebook. So here we go. We have a Play Store here. So if we go to Google Play and type in Shadow PC, we should be able to find Shadow and download Shadow. So let me showcase that out for you guys right here. Right, so. Let's search for Shadow PC on the apps. You guys should be able to see here. So I have it installed. Again, Law Place on here. GeForce Now is on here. So it's installed. And with this now, if I open up my app selection, I should be able to see Shadow PC and I should be able to access that to play Shadow PC on this device. Oh, it's right up there. So Shadow PC. It's right here again you hit it opens you have access to shadow on the chromebook all right so as you can see this is shadow pc on my chromebook so i'm going to open a game like tales of arise and just showcase that for you guys real quick so right into it tales of arise on the chromebook via shadow pc I'm telling you guys, Chromebooks are awesome for cloud gaming. It's really good stuff. All right, here we go. Just going to continue my game, show you guys that this actually works on a Chromebook. Again, this is Tulsa for Rise. You guys are seeing it. And for you guys, it might not look the greatest. It might not look as clean. But just know that it runs well for me. You guys are seeing that here. So again, Chromebook can do it all when it comes to cloud gaming. Highly impressive stuff. All right, fellas, so dear, you have it. That's how you can set up cloud gaming for your Chromebook devices. And again, I would highly recommend this because the thing with Chromebook is that when it comes to pricing, you can find really affordable Chromebooks. You can literally go to Walmart and find a Chromebook for $100. I've done videos showcasing low budget Chromebooks running 
cloud gaming pretty well. And if you want a premium Chromebook, you can get what I have here, which is the Pixel Book Go 4K, runs about $1,400. Again, this is a 4K device and a screen is pretty light. So it does cloud gaming really well. And if you have something like Google Stadia that projects 4K or Shadow PC, you'll be able to get a special tree to run in those games on 4K on the Pixel Book. Again, I love this. It runs all the cloud game platform pretty well. And I highly recommend cloud gaming on the Chromebook. And so this is how you set it up. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, fellas, peace out.